All right, what we have for review today is Lint's Excellence 85% Cocoa Extra Dark Chocolate. This entire bar has a net weight of three and a half ounces or 100 grams, and it's a full bodied cocoa flavor. 85%, it's pretty dark. Um, let's go ahead and look at the back. I love how they've packaged this with the with the gold embossed um, lettering. It's very, very fancy. This particular, I think, was like $2.60 some cents, but you see the chocolatier. This is a Swiss chocolate. The chocolatier is smelling it. Lint Excellence Gourmet Chocolate is prepared especially for you by Lint's master chocolatiers who, from selecting the highest quality cocoa beans to creating the finest textures and tastes chocolate can offer, demand nothing less than perfection. Experience the ultimate union of force and finesse through Lint Excellence's intense and elegant flavors. Fine textures and lingering taste, discover Lint Excellence with all your senses. Excellence 85% Cocoa is distinguished by a deep brown color and powerful aroma of cocoa. Experience this full bodied chocolate with just enough bitterness to highlight its strength and distinct personality. For true affectionados. I don't know if I'm quite the true affectionado, but I do like dark chocolate. Ingredients, chocolate, cocoa powder, cocoa butter, demerara sugar, that's supposed to be some fancy sugar, and bourbon vanilla beans. So chocolate, cocoa powder, cocoa butter, sugar, bourbon vanilla beans. May contain traces of peanuts, tree nuts, milk, soybeans. Dark chocolate contains cocoa solids, 85% minimum. Keep it in a cool and dry place. This in fact came right out of my refrigerator. I always keep it in the refrigerator. Let's just move on to the nutrition facts. Serving size, four squares. About two and a half servings per container. So that's gonna be a total of 10 squares. All right, I'm assuming it's gonna be one, two, and then five down. I don't know, we'll open it and look. All right, in four squares, you get a total of 18 grams of fat, 28% of your daily value. And that's, in four squares, that's 230 calories. So that's gonna be approximately 500 calories in one bar. Did I do the math right? No, I did not. 500 plus 600. It's gonna be about 600 calories in one bar. A little bit short of that. And in total calories from fat, 170. Saturated fat, 11 grams. 55% of your daily value in one serving. Okay, that's quite a bit. Sodium, 15 milligrams, 1% of your daily value. Total carbohydrates, 15 grams, 5%. But what you wanna notice is there's six grams of um, dietary fiber, 24% of your daily value. Uh, but of the 15 grams of carbohydrates, five of those are coming from sugar. Even though five grams of added sugar seems like a lot, pure chocolate is very bitter. And five grams is actually not that much compared in relation to other chocolates. Almost every dark chocolate in the store has five grams of sugar per serving. And then there's gonna be five grams of protein. Vitamins and minerals, not many, just 25% of your daily value of iron in one serving. So actually this is, if you really look at it, other than the saturated fat, it's not too bad. There's not too much added sugar. Now this has a lot of other nutritional benefits and health claims of, as far as antioxidants. This has some, some the composition of the chalk, coca has some relation to caffeine, so it keeps you a little alert. But it has some other health benefits that it touts that's not necessarily um, explicitly stated in the nutrition facts. All right, let's go ahead and bust it open and see what it looks like. Oh, it's very nicely packaged. It comes in this nice foil, wrapped foil. And my suspicion was correct. There's one, two, three, four, five times two, so 10, 10 squares in this. I'm gonna actually break up a couple squares before I um, open this so I can take them out nicely. There we go. And let's break it open. All right, here we go. Boom. Two chocolates, two squares of chocolates. This is a little bit shy of one serving. And there it is. Very crisp, very nice, 
nice textures, extremely dark as you can see. So having my camera's even having trouble resolving it there. There we go. Let me see if I can pick it up and bring it closer to you guys. Focus. There we go. Nice. Much better. Lint dark chocolate 85%. Let's see what it smells like. I'm going to smell the other one so you guys can keep looking at this. It smells very kind of waxy. You don't really can't you can't really smell much of the sugar. And definitely chocolate. You see heavy, heavy scent of chocolate. Smells really good. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, the texture is that of chocolate. It's a little bit waxy, buttery. Um, it's kind of melting in my hand. And let's go. I'm gonna go ahead and taste it. Oh wow! Definitely not sweet. Mmm. Bitter. Very bitter. Almost as bitter as black coffee. It actually kind of reminds me of black coffee. If you don't have the acquired taste of dark chocolate, you probably are not going to like this. Even for me, I like dark chocolate. This is a little much. 85% is pretty intense. Um, very potent. I did, um, I don't know if, I think I'd probably eat this with something or put it on something. Um, alone, it's really bitter. Very bitter, very, very strong, bold taste. Uh, I'm obviously not a true chocolate aficionado, as the packaging had stated. But I mean, really it does taste good. If you can get past the bitterness, the actual flavor of the pure chocolate is really good. And it's very, very clean. It's not waxy. It's very smooth. When it melts in your mouth, it melts very consistently. And it tastes pretty good. It is very bitter. Initially, when you take a bite, you get that kind of hint of that five grams of sugar, the sweet taste, and then the, once the chocolate melts and it flows across your tongue and hits your taste buds, that bitterness really sets in. And depending on who you are, you may or may not like it. Definitely not sweet. Mm, definitely bitter. And it has a strong aftertaste. Now, if you like that sort of thing, you're going to like it. I think everybody should try it. This is, without a shadow of a doubt, a tertiary food. Look in the description below for explanation on this. Now, looking at, this is going to be an interesting one to plot on our chart of the health continuum. Is it better off not eating or better eating? I would say this is a 4 out of 10. I'm not super certain about the, um, uh, I wouldn't put it as far down as candy because it doesn't have all that sugar, but it does have a lot of saturated fat. So, But it has another, a lot of other antidepressive, antioxidant properties. Some people would even call this a health food. If I were eating it as a health food, I would suggest eating it in the morning because if you eat this dark of chocolate at night, unless you're like, if you're like me and I'm really sensitive to caffeine, it might keep you up because of the um, stimulant comp component of the coca, um, the coca beans. And so I would give it a four or three or four out of 10. I'm not entirely sure on all the health benefit properties, but it's definitely better than a candy because there's not that much sugar in it. So let's go ahead and look at it on a glycemic index scale. Believe it or not, it's actually gonna score pretty well. It's actually lower on the glycemic index scale at 40 out of um, 100. Look in the description below, look at for more information on this. And that's because it's a pure chocolate. There's not much sugar to it. So take it for what it's worth. Anyways, I hope you liked the review. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Hit the subscribe button so you can see my other reviews that are similar to this um, and while I review other foods. But definitely, if you like dark chocolate, this is for you. Um, if you haven't tried it or you don't know, this is, where to, this is where you should start. If you don't like dark chocolate and it's too bitter for you, this is not for you. So anyways, thanks for watching. All right, and if you're ever wanting a dark chocolate but you want it a little sweeter, just when you're in the store, look at the back of the package and see what kind of sugar content it has. This is real low at five. The other ones will be at like seven or 17, maybe a little bit higher. You may like those better if you like the sweeter chocolates. All right, thanks for watching. Take care, bye-bye.